Introduce yourself. I am Geneva Marquez, and I'm a visual artist out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And she's painting happy trees. I am painting stick figures and happy trees today. <laughs> no, not happy trees. Tell us, uh, how long ago did you open your gallery? Um, it's fairly new. I opened it August of 2013. And how was your opening? Opening was very successful. Um, it was sick. I it was. It was pretty awesome. There was a lot of bad things going on. No, it was great. Um, we had a great crowd from other galleries, um, just a bunch of newcomers, people I've never seen before, met before. It was really cool. Um, it was it was really surprising, but it was awesome. Who I uh, I also saw that you had some. Live music, the whole nine yards. Yeah, we had wax pig melting here. Oh, yeah. uh, we had a couple other. The yeah, good Brian, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Brian Gibson. And God, the drummer is amazing too. Um, but no, they were all cool. They were actually rocking out in front of my gallery, so that was pretty sweet. We had like the front row. The only thing in between us was just the glass. It was pretty amazing. So we had them uh, for our opening. Uh -huh. We had a few acoustic. I don't remember their names, but they were pretty amazing too. And we had also a Wasteland Gallery next door. They opened up soft opening, so it was pretty cool. Like we had like a big family up there. Um, we had people just driving through industrial and just stopping and parking. Just Isn't that like the yeah, best part? Cool. Well, they just stopped just like, for the heck of it. Like, what the hell is going on? Where all these lights and everyone rocking out in the parking lot. It was so amazing. <laughs> it was cool. It was like a little Woodstock. I, I don't know. It was pretty awesome. So. What are your plans for this coming preview Thursday, first Friday? Um, this this preview first Friday, we're actually going to open up for Thursdays. Good. So that way we can include um, other local gallery owners so they have a chance to check out our work and our local artists that we're going to be displaying here. Mm -hmm. um, also, we're going to be including another band, I'm not really sure of the lineup yet, but it's supposed to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to be featuring four other artists as well. Four? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know, four. So that's going to be pretty amazing. So we'll be, it, we have a lot going on for the next few days. Um, and then after that, 10 o'clock, we're having our after party across the street at Art Men. Ah, and there's also gonna, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Um, there's gonna be about three other bands there too. So. And then you guys are also getting ready a stage. You guys yes. are building stage back that's, here. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Um, starting in November, we're actually building a stage. We're gonna have it in the back where the whole warehouse is. So we're gonna be including poetry, acoustic, bands, um, anybody who wants to just be up there and sing. Uh, if you have a voice or not and you just want to try it, you're welcome. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a big party. Later on, we're planning to have a bunch of vendors out here as well, like food trucks and all that. So we're getting that all together. It's slowly going to develop, but it's going to be exciting. It's like everybody's becoming a family. Exactly. Something tight. We're definitely becoming a family. Um, not only myself being here, but there are a couple other artists here. There's photography. We have Naked City Audio, Wasteland Gallery, who was um, who is affiliated with Waste Your Life Being Artist uh, with Scott Wood. Um, we have Charlie, he is actually the owner here. He was the founder of the Bunk House, he owned the Bunk House. So we're all gonna work together um, and hopefully this is gonna be a family that's gonna be around for a while, so. So this will be like, I guess the purpose is like becoming an extension from the 18B? Well, we don't want it like, we 18B is where it all happened. You know, 18B is always going to be 18B. We're not, we would love to be a part of them, but unfortunately with city limits, we're not affiliate, you know, we're naked city, so. But um, no, this is just going to be another place where people, you know, we're not trying to stop people who want a First Friday or Arts Factory or downtown Fremont. We want this to be just another spot that, hey, let's check out downtown spaces. And then from there, you know, go, we're only a few blocks from Commerce and First Fridays. I would just say, for people that come to First Friday, I mean around the Irish Factory, all of that, just bring your flat shoes, ladies. Don't yes. wear high heels like I do. Yes. Get a little workout. I come join the festivities over here. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, bring shoes. And like I said, we're only a mile, less than a mile. Less from, than a mile. From, I mean, from Stratosphere, looking right at it, and less than a mile from downtown ATP. So it's not yeah. too bad. Especially. You have, you have a great view. I mean, you're Oh, no, your, no, no, no. From your studio, looking at the Stratosphere, you're looking at the Stratosphere. Oh, I know. Oh, wait until, oh, uh, you're you're see, 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 you're see, 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 yeah. great. Yeah, well, I'm going to be like right let here. Me, let, me, let me show them real quick how we're in the studio. It's a perfect view. Oh, I'm going to be here. Yeah, it's, it's VIP. This is my RSVP right now. It's RSVP only, though. 
Uh, this is my RSVP already. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're both welcome. <laughs> okay. There you go. Just show them all. Yeah, because we're Literally. gonna have like a fireworks like right here. If you don't yes. know art, your window is art right here. You got transfer in your yeah, as your backyard. Yeah, come on. Who who are you featuring right now? Right now, up here. Um, I can give you a few names because I am still in the interview process, mm -hmm. but I am welcoming Cherish Franklin. Um, I have another artist, Casey. I believe it's Hogan, and possibly a few other artists, but I don't want to name their name yet, just because I'm not. 100% positive, but you'll be seeing a few other new faces next month as well. So now you have this project going on in order to not only promote the area, promote your gallery, but help promote other arts. Right. Tell me about that. Yeah, what I'm doing for the next few months, um, I am offering wall space to upcoming artists. Uh, not only who, who, I mean, they may have been featured in other galleries, and um, they're not just upcoming, but I'm offering studio space, um, $15 per piece. All the money is towards their commission is all for them. No so no split. Pay, no split. Wow. No, no hassle. Seriously, it's like there's no catch. The only thing you're required to do is pay the taxes for any sales that you make, mm -hmm. and just the fifteen dollar per piece for the wall space. There is a limit, however, um, if it's something that I'm really interested in, I am allowing a few extra pieces. Uh -huh. I do have a whole wall as well outside my studio, mm -hmm. so that's going to be featuring a lot of. Um, local artists work so I'm only doing that for a few months it's just to kind of give back and help other artists out I know how tough money money is you're you may be a struggling artist or you may not be but I'm just trying to give back because I know how it is you know mm -hmm. I, I I put myself out there I spent lots of money and I'm just trying to give a chance for a few months not only to help them but to help me they're helping me by putting their art in here yep. so I want to help them yep. so that's pretty much what my program is uh, all about right now so you're pretty much right now uh, the starting uh, artist fairy godmother. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making me sound old. No, it's like I said. You know what? This has been surreal, and it's crazy how I've gotten this far in so little time. And um, I'm proud of my accomplishments, but I want to get bigger. And in order for that, like you can't just you can't just uh, have it all. Like so, I just definitely want to give back. You know, I don't want to just put my work in here. I want to show other people. And there's a lot of talent out there. So. There's a lot and I, of I talent. fell in love with a few artists, and I'm just like, wow, their work's cool. I want to have them. So they, at least show a few people here. So, yeah. you know, like I said, they're doing me a favor by showing their work here and spreading the word and inviting their friends, family, co workers. Um, and, you know, I want to get back to them and, like, thank you. You know, they're just uh, pretty much, I'm not even asking for anything. That's just going to cover the cost to provoke the night. So, mm -hmm. yeah. that's that's pretty much what. But, yeah, I guess I am a mother. There, see what I'm talking about? Okay. Yeah, just not little. In the art world. Young, young mother. Young, well, you know, young mother. There you go. There's a lot of other um, gallery owners, you know, and I think they're all doing a great job, too. So yes. I'm just trying to do something a little different. But I know that, you know, it's it's new, so I'm just trying to see how far I can take this program. Like I always say, the sky is not yeah, the limit. Exactly, There's always exactly, the moon. Exactly. Definitely. And then we have. And yes, I'm gonna talk about it. What are you gonna talk about? Raw. Ah. Raw words. We have raw words coming up. Looking forward to that? I am looking forward to it. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little kind of, you know, not really focused on it, but I am actually going towards it and I'm a little excited. I've already mm -hmm. gone to Square Marketing myself. Why not do another event? And yeah. besides, I've been with them for two years. I've showed at three different shows. I might as well give it my all and see where it goes, you know? I mean, so, you, you even did Rock Hollywood. I did, I did Rock Hollywood, I think in April. And that's where I met you. That's what we met. Yep. Yeah, I am gonna participate in Rock. Yes. So, okay. yes. so vote for me. And and Geneva the e has, um, it's gonna be under Gem Artistry Studio as well, so. Good. Combine them together, so. Where else can people find you online? So you can media. find me, of course, everyone in their mom knows Facebook. Yeah. It's under Gem Artistry Studio. Um, same thing as Instagram, Gem Artistry Studio, or GenevaEMarquez.com. Um, where else? I have advertisements on my car. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's about, that's pretty much it. Or uh, my email. It's gemartistry at gmail.com. So I'm pretty. You can just come here and find me too. Yeah. Downtown space is 1800 Industrial Road. <laughs> Sweet 104. Sweet 104. Yeah. You can't miss it. No. Nope. You can't miss it. Just you look know, in the glass. All the art in the window. Yeah. yeah. Just look in the window. You'll see some art. That's that's probably her studio. But it's awesome art. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> okay. Let's talk about 
your bio in art? My bio? Yeah, when did you start painting? Um, I think I was 12, 12, 13. I started in junior high and I just started, man, I loved it. I started doing murals. Um, I was part of like the art club and I just, you know, it was a passion. I just started uh, doing a bunch of sculptures and painting, drawing, all this cool stuff. And then I actually stopped doing it for a while. Why? Um, just one of those moments. It's one of those things where you know you're good at it, but you kind of outgrow it. I didn't yeah. outgrow it internally, but I think like I was looking for a profession. So I kind of I kind of was influenced by my dad. He's a great person, but it wasn't like a career. Uh -huh. So I kind of stopped doing it just like a hobby, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I was always creative though, and, like crafty and stuff, but I didn't want to pursue it because I didn't think it'd really get me far. I took another route and I kind of went to a trade school and uh, I ended up going back, like actually moving out here, I would still um, paint, you know, uh -huh. go here and there, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with it. So actually, I'd go visit the first Fridays about five years ago, and um, I just was like, God, how do I get in here, you know, like how do I show my work here? And this is before the, I don't even think we had Bar and Bistro in there, like this is like in the beginning. I just kind of like started painting mm -hmm. uh, in my living room, I had a cheap little, what, $8 put together easel, <laughs> cheap shit, and uh, I just started doodling and I'd stay up all night just painting and I was like, wow, actually, you know, that painting right behind you is one of the first paintings that I've Oh, heard. wow, can we show that? Yeah, it's one of the first paintings, well, I painted before, that was one of my, like, wow, one I, of actually, the first yeah, I can actually, like, yeah, like, I, should, I can actually do something. Um, this actually, I was real destructive at the time, so it's ripped because one night I actually des destroyed it and I what? love I love this piece so much and I was just going you know everyone has their issues in life yeah. or whatever but anyway so this is called torn because basically this is my first one of my first paintings and I was in a destructive time in my life and I was, it was pretty much I was torn and not only was my painting torn but I was torn so one day I, I just came in from a night out and I, I destroyed my paintings a lot of them were destroyed and I was just like, this is the one that I kept. So I kept it for like two years and I was like, you know what, I, I have to do something with this, right? Wow. So what I did was I put it over cardboard and I actually, I love, this came out better than the original, so. So to this me, will be that one that you will never Yeah, get. this always will be a part of like, wow, this is where I came from, you know what I mean? Like, so this here, um, I, I made it, I brought it back to life and I, I put it over cardboard and I painted it and I just, I loved it. And I was like, wow, this is actually better than the original. I have like torn pieces in there. And um, so I framed it and I just, I keep it with me all the time. So that's, that's torn and that, that's pretty much one of my first paintings. So ever since then, I just, uh, I don't know. I just went back to the arts factory a few years later and I met Alex Herta uh -huh. and uh, I was talking to him about a space and I, you know what, actually I called him the next day and there was my shot, so. Yeah, Alexander piece, yeah. Alexander Wood, he's amazing, that piece in art, he has yeah. uh, support of art. Yeah, and, and um, he, uh, yeah, so I brought my work to him like that week, you know, I bothered him and I was like, hey, you know, I really want to show here. <laughs> what do I, you know, because I didn't know where to start. I had no idea what, how to get to first, how do you get to first Friday? How do you get into there? I had no idea. I was like, Somebody who knew I wanted to do this, uh -huh. but like, where do I start? So I hit him up and he gave me a place to show and um, it just, I never gave up. I just, every art show I hear about or I, I would, what I would do is follow other artists and kind of uh -huh. see what they're doing. And then I'm like, well, if they're doing this, I can do it. So pretty much, I'm now, I don't know, I just took me two years of following and just going after everything, all the shows, I would do group shows and then I would, I, would, I ran a wall space with Arts Factory in the main the main building. Uh -huh. Then I um, did the Raleigh events, and then I did a few events at the Venetian, a couple openings at Town Square. So I was everywhere. Um, and then it, I was I don't know. It's it's been really cool. It's been a success. So, but it's a lot of work and dedication, and, and you gotta love it. You have to have you passion. You have to have a yeah. passion. You can't There's... just like give up and be like, oh, they don't want to see my work. Or like, oh, okay, I didn't sell anything. I'm not gonna do this. You really, this is this is you, this is who you are. Mm -hmm. It's not a job, it's who you are. Yeah. So, and that and ties, now I'm here. Yeah, and then that ties into what you're trying to do with your wall space. Yeah, and see, you're basically doing the same thing. Exactly. You're, so, you're opening up, hopefully yeah. opening up for someone else it's crazy. to come through. And, yeah. 
it's just crazy. Well, like I had a show in LA for two months um, early this summer. I was showing at a, a downtown gallery and it's the same thing, you know, like here I am paying for space or actually I didn't pay them. It was just like commission and it's like, why am I not doing this? Like I can do the same thing as all these other galleries. Yeah. So that's why um, I was searching and I took my, my shot and now I'm here. So it's pretty awesome though. Like yeah. I'm just glad to be able to have my space and meet other artists too. Like these are people I've never met. Um, they're showing me their work. They're coming to me now. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm trying to act like I know what I'm talking about, but no, I, I mean, I do, I totally get them because they're nervous too. They're like, they're excited. Like, oh my God, this is cool. I'm gonna show here. And I'm like, wow, oh, that's cool. You know, to get that reaction from another artist is pretty awesome. Yeah. So. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully in five years, I'll definitely be in a bigger gallery as we were talking earlier. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to build my portfolio for New York, not to move there, oh, but just to uh, just to show in some uh -huh. smaller galleries. I know it's every artist's dream, New York, oh, Soho, or Paris, yep. Yep. but seriously, like I'm working baby steps. That's why I'm trying to do Las Vegas. My next next year, I'm gonna try to, um, <clears throat> I'm working on my resume, pretty much. I've already done LA, I've done Las Vegas. Um, I'm trying to do, I'm from the Bay Area, so I'm trying to do San Francisco, San Francisco. within this, maybe Road like, trip. yeah, maybe like January or something, I'll try to get out there, and then my portfolio is long enough where I could try and hopefully get into a smaller gallery in New York, so I'm just trying to start baby, you know what I mean, because mm -hmm. it's hard, so that's my next goal, so hopefully I uh, will be in a bigger, definitely bigger gallery, I'm going to say I am going to be in a bigger gallery, because that's what I'm going to do, and I want to be able to, like, hey, yeah, I have some work down over there in New York or something, so uh, that's I'm gonna go for it. Actually, I thought about going back to school to get an MBA, like to get a master's in fine art, you know, and do some like gallery work or something. But I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to do. Have you ever thought about teaching? I yeah, actually, I've always wanted to teach, and I thought I love kids, and I love just like young minds. Uh -huh. um, there's actually a couple of young kids out here now in Las Vegas that I've talked to, and. Um, they ask me questions like, "Wow, well, you know, they're, they're just like inspired. So I just love inspiring people. And not only that, like I would love to just teach kids, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Here, even if it's finger painting or just to kind of let them like, give them familiar with like what acrylic paint is, like just something. So just to bring that out of mind, but no, teaching would be pretty awesome. And I thought about doing like some workshops, like um, every second Saturday or something, kind of like bring them in and let them do, you know, you can go get, cheap materials, especially wholesale, dollar tree, mm -hmm. anywhere, get it really cheap and just kind of let them develop their mind. Express. Yeah. Experiment. Definitely. Yeah. Experiment. And that's Experiment. okay. I think people are so caught up with electronics now and like yes. their parents don't have time anymore. Yeah. Like their kids lose that creativity. So that's, I think that's definitely a plus. All, all artists who want to make it to a, make it a, a business or a career, Definitely has to not only be an artist, but also yep. business man, woman on the side. I mean, that's if you don't know anything about it, that definitely now is the time to be yeah. catching up on it because if you don't know the other side, you're not going to be able to survive. Like, right. Literally make ends meet. If you like art, you either have to have somebody next to you that knows the business side of it, like a yep. like a mm -hmm. assistant or a manager of some sort, agent, or you yourself have to know. The business right. side of it as well. Yeah, that's definitely. It's really tough. And get used to that sleeping. And that's yeah. why you know I mentioned earlier to you earlier when we we're talking is you you can get an agent, but you can't just find anyone. Like no. you want to see who you are. You got to build that resume. That's yeah. why I'm yeah. trying. Like I so far I picked where I wanted. Now I need another place. And then they take you. Okay, this person. This is a serious artist. Let's let's work together. Yeah. But then again, I don't know. Like I don't even know if I want to do that. Like I worked so hard to get here on my own. But it, it could be stressful, so I am definitely looking later, though, you're right. So. Well, it, it'll, I think it will depend on, like, what other business ventures in the future you're yeah. looking at to do. Like, if yep. you wanted to do the teaching, yeah, you might need to, like, totally. give yeah give some of that PR work to an yep. agent or something because you will be teaching on the other night that you're not producing the work. So right. that's going to be work offloaded off you onto someone yeah. who actually can do it for you, you know, yeah. during their time. So I can even paint numbers on the painting and have them paint. <laughs> hey, this is the color for that number. <laughs> <laughs> <It's true. laughs> no, 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 no. You've seen the, the downtown uh, renovations uh, and, and all uh, that. Uh, we're now we're getting to the green. Okay. 
fighting game. Political question. I'm just playing. I'm just saying. I've answered questions about that before, but go ahead. I, no, I, I'm very interested because, you know, me come, not being from Vegas and when I came here, just like you, none of this downtown renovation stuff has happened. And since I've been here, everything has come up and it's come up very quickly. Like so, strong. you know, like having a separate section for just the art sector or the art pool yeah. or whatever you want to call it. How, how do you feel? You know, all that stuff is coming up, and do you feel is there a good? Is that a good thing? How the community is it rallying behind it, or is it being segregated by you know people on the strip, or is it you know how do you feel about all that stuff coming up? I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I love what they're doing to downtown and even like the renovating and everybody just, you know, it was like a ghost land before. And I think yep. it's so cool how you see not only locals, but other people recognizing it. Like you get, locals are coming together and actually investing in property and, and working in the community and bringing it up. And not only locals, but even major corporations and business like Zappos. Yes. Um, I think they're doing an awesome job. I know there was a lot of politics and kind of controversy with yes. people like 18 d and Zappos and they're yeah. like, oh, they're taking over no, whatever, no. whatever. But you know what, it's all, it all cooled down. So I think, but you know, going downtown, um, I think it's awesome. Like seriously, like they're they're bringing, they're giving artists opportunity, musicians. You know, they're they're. You go to that. You go to like San Diego or like L.A. and they got cool downtown little restaurants and cool little galleries. Yeah. And little outdoor seating. Well, mm -hmm. you know what? Like we're getting that now, and, and we might be a little late, but we're we're getting it. It's being recognized. So I I think I feel proud now to like go down there. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. It's kind of like a miniature baby Hollywood now. You go there on a Friday night or something, mm -hmm. but it, it's really cool. Um, so I'm actually I'm excited for to see what what other new ideas they have and whatever else is in the plans. Mm -hmm. um, I'm for it. So we just need to help promote it yeah. more. Yeah, I think yeah, and I think too. Um, Las Vegas is not all. We're not all about the strip. I mean, I haven't been to the strip in not, months. It's not about the strip either. I mean, we have so much art, so much culture. We, yeah, and we so just need talent, to make it you know? noticeable. There's a lot of talent out it's there. True. I mean, there it's true. It's becoming an outlet. It's definitely, yeah. it's the, definitely instead of being in the strip or trying to show on the strip or yeah, in the casino. Yeah, we got more than just the strip and yeah. gambling and casino. You know, strip clubs, casinos, yeah. marriage chapels. We got more than that. We got more marriage. than Ooh. pool parties and house. Music. We got like yeah. we got we got some culture. You know, we're, we're all starting to get out of our shells. I think in like finally. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and do this. And like you know, now we have like what I think. This weekend they're gonna be painting the hunt with the theater. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yes. you know what? You go there and you're gonna see every artist that you know in the community. And that's so cool. All I wanna go all I want to do is just take a blanket, sit down yeah. on the floor, and just look at everything. Yeah, happens. and it's cool because like I said, you go to uh even an opening party or you go to an event like that or even like us. Even there's a lot of charities now. Yes. They're bringing arts together. Mm -hmm. and it's like artists for autism. Yeah. Um, arts for autism. Celebrate Las Vegas. Yeah. I've been a part of all those, and it's so cool because you go to these events and you see the community who you know, like everyone just trying to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's so cool. Like mm -hmm. it, it's a small family, but I think we're growing definitely. Yeah. And not only that, we're getting a lot of tourists and stuff going to that area. Yeah. And, and, like, oh, what's it's, first Friday? Yeah. Now it's in the freaking weekly magazines. And it's, it's something else instead of saying, oh, Las Vegas, stay, yeah. on the, stay on the strip. Now it's like Las Vegas, you can go downtown, get a little different view of Las Vegas instead of just casinos and yeah. you know heavy smoke and cool, cool parties and whatever. You, exactly. If yeah. you want to get out of all that, there's definitely a second section. Just a taxi cab down. Yep. Put on some comfortable shoes and start walking down. It's just, just, just freestyle. Yeah. Just, yeah, you don't even have to be dressed up. Just no. Up. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. So I think the project and the whole bringing up downtown is pretty cool. I, I'm I'm for it. And like I said, I can't wait. And I don't know if you've heard about the life of the beautiful. Yes, yeah. it's coming That's up. Be you huge. Huge. So good, huge. I can't wait for that. Like they're doing a freaking festival. Like life is beautiful. All these headliners. Yeah. Um, F, you know, it's gonna be cool. Like they're gonna have art and music and local bands, local artists, it's gonna be cool. So, I think we're doing a good job. I'm for it. You're for it? Yeah. You're but if you fuck with my taxes, then... There you go. Maybe, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll have to... Uh, maybe consider, I'll have to reconsider that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I think anything to make it better and, and welcoming us and not alienate us, I yeah. think that's cool. 
Would, yeah. you, would you consider re relocating to closer to downtown? I would. Like that? I okay. So there's, you know, just, there's just nothing available, man. So. Those spaces now you're gonna have more people coming down. Is that gonna be a good thing for you, or is that? Um, do you think about maybe you know what, relocating I, there because so you can get more traffic? There's already some galleries oh. getting in contact. There. I yeah. totally understand. Like I get. I don't think it's gonna affect. Look, you can put somebody who someone's never heard of into a high-end building. Like you said, it's not going to affect me. Yeah. Um, to me, I'm trying to put my name out there so I don't get affected by stuff like that. So people, no matter where I'm at, I can be across town. I want them to go see me. So I don't think that's going to really affect me at all. Or even other artists. Like there's artists that have galleries that are established and people know them. You know? Yeah. yeah. Now, to bring traffic there, I think that's different. Because you know everyone goes downtown and tours. They got a bus that goes downtown. Yeah. That will affect. But as like, I don't think I should have to move just to, you know, just to be there. This is the city. I, like I don't know if you know the, the history of it. No, I don't. That's this what I'm is, saying. This I, is where, uh, like, back then, like showgirls and stuff. Yeah. But they all used to stay here for free. Right here for free. It's called Naked City because they used to bathe naked in the backyard or our uh, tent. So they call it Naked City. Uh -huh. So. So it's Naked City within yeah. Sin City. So that's where you should be staying then, Bloom, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's, but it, of course it's not like that anymore, but that's how they got their name. They worked, they worked at the Strip, you know, these hotels, and they let them stay in these little places. Mm -hmm. And they, like you said, they used to no, just wait. suntan in the backyard, topless, so they call it Naked City. They're like, you know. It's sexy. Yeah, it's sexy. It's sexy. Awesome. <laughs> so no, this is, I mean, it's history here. It's, it's totally awesome. It's, it's, it's not, um, they cleaned it up a lot, so it, it's pretty safe and I like it. I would like for you to invite people to come and check out your gallery. Why should they come? I want you to come and see the different kind of art that I have and I just want you to be proud of it. You know, I'm new at this and I know all you other art gallery owners or studio owners, they've been in this business. I'm new and I, I mean, I want to take your, your advice. If you come down here, tell me, you know, give me your advice, your input, how am I doing? And not only that, like, I just want to be able to share my work with the world um, and just, you know, see how far I get. Uh, not just for me, but just for other, also other artists out here, you know. I want to include them as well. I want a place, I want a new spot, like Gem Artistry. Like, oh, have you been to Gem Artistry? You know, are you a hidden gem? Come to I, lo I love that phrase. Seriously, it's I not love that, that phrase. That is the logo, okay? That is, that is a yeah. phrase. I like, I want to make shirts. Are you a hidden gem? Come to Gem Artistry. <laughs> Like, I just want to show my work, so that's it. All right. It's well, thank thank you, Geneva, for no, awesome. taking some thank time. You. Um, and and look good luck up. on the I'll good luck on the census. Yeah. Yeah. Look us up. This was awesome, and I do appreciate it and recognizing me, and I I can't wait to see it. So, be cool. Good. Awesome.